Hundreds of demonstrators have taken to the streets in Baghdad, calling for the Iraqi government to forgive the journalist who threw his shoes at President George W. Bush. Motadar El Zaidi has become an overnight sensation here after the Sunday incident. For those of you who didn't see or simply can't get enough of it, El Zaidi shouted at Bush during a news conference Sunday and then threw both of his shoes at him. Neither hit the president, and El Zaidi was tackled to the ground and taken into custody. He has since been handed over to the country's Judiciary Department, which ordinarily signals the start of criminal proceedings. However, these Iraqis and others are calling for the government to release him. The head of the Iraqi Journalist Union says while the incident was a mistake, he hopes officials will grant him clemency. Still, others are more worried about his physical condition. El Zaidi hasn't been seen since the incident, and his employer says he was seriously injured in the aftermath, although others say he's in good health. Lawyers say they hope to meet with him later this week, and some are asking the Red Crescent to be allowed to check on him too. The White House says the president bears no hard feelings toward the man and trusts the Iraqi government and judicial system to handle the matter. The incident is still getting plenty of airtime around the world, and on Monday, Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez got a chuckle watching it on TV. The longtime Bush foe says it's a good thing the president wasn't hit, but still says he admires the courage of the man. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.